Hello everybody. In this screencast, we're going to look at sets. So we looked at array lists or lists and lists actually enable you to create. It's a collection which can grow, right? And it's very similar to arrays, but it can grow, right? It's a mutable. You think of it as a mutable array. So the interesting thing about uh, array uh, lists in general is that they do not guarantee uniqueness. For example, let's have a list of colors. Let's go back to our list of colors and uh, uh we let's create a, a quick list of colors string uh, um, yeah, an array list of colors array list of string mean color names right so colors equals uh, new array list right so that's an array list and then i could say colors dot add and let's add red uh, add another red add green for example Add another green, it's fine, and add a blue. Right, so that's a. And then I could go and iterate over them for each, uh, for each loop, for each string color in colors. Colors. I'm just going to say uh, is out. Uh, color. Right. So basically, if I do that, I'm going to print the colors. Right. So this is nothing new here. This is just an array list. When you run it, you will see that it it, it allows adding uh, replicates, meaning that uh, it does not guarantee uniqueness, right? Okay, so now if I change this a little bit, instead of it being <coughs> an array list, I want to use it as a set. So there is hash set, so let's say hash, has set, colors is a hash set of type hash set, here it is. And the hash set has add also, so colors dot add, so it has add. So the hash set is very similar to the to a list, but it guarantees uniqueness. So now when I run the hash set, run it, you will see that it only adds, uh, it guarantees uniqueness. So if red is already in the system, it's not going to allow you to add another red to the set. So how does it do that? So basically, we'll look at it in, in detail in a little bit. But another thing is that sets should be able to answer the question, does it contain very quickly? So basically, if you say colors.contains, and you pass it, for example, does it contain? So for example, I could say if colors.contains, for example, let's say red, right? I could say uh, s out uh, contains red, contains red, right? So now let's do this and try and see if it's gonna print this or no right so basically it returns contains returns a boolean so colors dot contains see it returns a boolean right all right so if we run this run it and you can see that yes it does contain red so basically i could say else at the same story i could say does not contain red right i could do that does not contain red right so basically and of course it's case sensitive because this is a string right so basically let's say i add make the capital here and run it of course it's not going to contain it so, so it does not contain our ed which is the capital because of the of the difference in case right so when you do that it doesn't contain it so basically again what what these sets provide is a couple of functions one of them is add right and probably there is remove so you could say colors dot remove right and you pass it the object. See, there is no index. You pass it the object and it's gonna remove, right? Also, there is clear. Clear removes everything, right? And contains. Contains is very important, right? So that's that's a set, right? So now this is very easy because we are using these basic types or the primitive types of string, which enables us to find out if um, uh, a, that object exists or no, right? Now, what if we are using other objects? Let's say I wanna create an, a hash set of users, right? right of let's call it users so i'm created a hash set of users right and then i will say users dot add a new user right and basically i have to tell it uh so that's a user that i add right so basically i have to tell it what makes a user unique right i didn't tell it so basically in that case even if i want for example the name to be unique so let's say bob smith right and I want to add another Bob Smith. Let's do this. And let's say we add N. And Smith, for example. And maybe we do uh, Alice uh, Green. All right. 
So basically, I want if I run this, let's say I do this for each user in users, right? And uh, when I do this for each loop, right? I want to s out the user, right? So when you run it, you will see that it's did it guarantee uniqueness? It's a set, but it did not guarantee uniqueness. So you could see that I still have two exactly the same users. The problem is that when you are using uh, uh, custom uh, objects, you have to tell it what is what defines two objects being equal. You know, if you don't, then it uses the default and it uses the uh, uses the reference in memory for it to see if the two two instances are the same. So basically, what you need to do is this um, class needs to implement some interface and that interface will tell it if it's equal or no okay so now what do we do so what i will do is i will go to code so i'll pick here somewhere here inside the class code and i'm going to implement some methods okay so let's go back to the user class here it is and i'm going to implement some methods okay and when i or say i could say code generate right i could do here code generate right and one of the generate is equals and hash codes so they come in they come together because for the set to find out if it contains a specific object what it does is that the the the, the object that's passed on to be used to check against it, it generates its hash code and using that hash code it finds a bin number so this hash code gives it a bin number and inside that bin it iterates over all the objects in the bin to find out if it's equal by calling the equal function so there are two uh, steps so basically we'll say equals and hash code okay and say next and basically here you specify the objects to be included in equal so basically i want people who have exactly the same first name and exactly the same last name to be equal age is not important for me right next and then include it in the hash code both first name and last name here it is and uh, um, select all null here it is non null so these are not going to be null and here we go so basically what's going to happen is that the equals is going to receive an object right and that object you could see that it's user and it's they are selecting to see if they are equal the first name and last name are equal and then the hash code generates a hash code of uh, the first name and last name okay so this is boilerplate i didn't type it i you just have to select whatever objects you want to include and when you go here now when we run it you will see that at the beginning before implementing the, this equals it added Bob Smith twice, right? Now, when we run this again, and you will see that Bob Smith only got it added once. Why? Because we told it how to, what contributes equal objects. Okay, what are equal objects? So that is a set. So basically to iterate over a set is straightforward for each. And then in this, whenever you use a set, you have to think about what constitute uniqueness. How would you like to identify an object? So in that case, we just used the first name and last name. And uh, and of course, it has to be case sensitive. Like, for example, if it's Bob capital B here, these are not exactly the same. So basically, when you run it and you could see that it adds both. Right. So you have to and uh, you, you have to um, uh, you have to be careful from uh, based on the case. But anyhow, you have to identify what makes two objects equal. Right. And what you would do is let me do it again. So I'll go back again here. What I did is that I just uh, uh, code generate and it's equals and hash code okay pick it and then you can click on uh, next here it is you pick whatever objects to be used in the equals and the same objects are used them in the hash code and then these are i'm assuming they are non-null click on finish and boom here it is and then when you run it it still does the same thing and that's what i did so basically this code is boilerplate it's going to be automatically generated by the id all right so now you are experts in sets let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.